Hi, Abby. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the St. Louis Arts Chamber of Commerce's uh, Virtual Art Expo. We are so excited to be winding down on another day. Sunday has been really fun to pop around and look at all of the, um, the artists. So I hope that you're having fun doing that for those that are joining us live or on the replay. Um, hopefully you've found your favorite uh, holiday gift. Uh, so keep on looking. But um, it's time for another one of our artist talks. Um, we had some some photography or some painting earlier then we had some dance so now we're going to talk photography um so my name is jessica i am with the arts chamber of commerce and we um are here with rachel and i always like to have our artists introduce themselves because it's so much better than anything i could have written so we'd like to hear from from you in your own words so tell us um introduce yourself and tell us what kind of art do you do okay. um my name is rachel I, or Rachel Williams, I do photography. I um, have been doing it for about three years. I like to take pictures of just about anything and I like to go just about anywhere to do that. Um, so that could be animals, nature, people, um, buildings, anything. So. Just all the things. So, all the things. Got, <laughs> so you've only been doing this about three years. What got you interested in photography? Tell us the origin story. Um, I mean, I guess, Technically, I started doing it when I was a kid, but I took a very, very long break um, and then I uh, started doing it about three years ago um, more seriously, or at least putting more effort into it. Gotcha. So you said that you do you you do all of the things. So um, things. Yep. I have a very short attention span. So that's why. <laughs> So you like to do all of the things. So mm -hmm. um, what, what, I guess let's talk about your recent, what did you most recently um, take photos of? Tell us about it. Um, so I guess during the whole uh, pandemic thing, I, you know, was kind of stuck in the house like everybody else. So I was doing a lot of pictures of, or I was trying to take pictures of food. Um, and I ended up with some pictures of fruit that looks like butts. So that's kind of my... <laughs> So one of my things game? yep one of them <laughs> i'm guessing it was a peach of some kind a peach and a pear the pear yeah. was the original yeah interesting yeah. all right that's that's really funny um, so, <laughs> go, go ahead no i was no you're good um so your uh the, your company name is is your name right yeah that's me rachel Williams. Did, why did you decide to put yourself out there and like identify with your name instead of like you know, lots of people come up with, um, you know, names that maybe don't relate. How, why did you, how did you decide to, to name it after yourself? Um, I just think people like to associate an artist with a person or an art with the, any art with a, the person that it's from. Um, and so I was like, well, I mean, it might as well be me. I'm not ashamed of it. I like it. So might as well be me. Like it's you. That's yeah, it's me. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Yeah. Um, so it sounds like you said you have a short attention span. So it sounds like you get inspiration kind of from wherever, but walk us through your process. Like what, where do you find your inspiration? How do you decide what to photograph? And then how do you uh, go about it? Um, do So different things like um, I'm in a club called the St. Louis Photography Club and there, you know, we're always um, having meetings and looking at each other's photos and sharing ideas. Um, so that's one way. Um, another thing is like seasonal things. Um, if we're talking nature and landscape photos, um, we kind of, as photographers, pay attention to the seasons. Um, so whatever's going on, like right now, it's not too exciting out, but uh, we just got finished with fall. It was a really pretty fall. So went up to Wisconsin and did uh, like fall leaves and all that kind of stuff. So. Oh, lovely. Well, at least we got some positive something out of yeah. the situation. So a nice, a nice pretty fall is is very nice. I'm yeah. glad to hear that. Absolutely. Do you have um, a favorite um, piece that you've done or like a favorite subject that you've photographed? Um, I guess my husband and I went to Utah a couple of years ago and we did a night photography session, which means you go out at like one in the morning and uh, Utah is, uh, it's like a dark sky reserve. So there's no lights. It's super dark. Um, and we took this photo of a, an abandoned schoolhouse in Grafton, Utah, um, with the Milky Way kind of like going up over it. And that's probably one of my favorites. That's amazing. Just big sky country. Like, yeah. That's pretty cool. is, is, I mean, you have to take a photo of that. Like that's just, yeah. oh, I love and it. Anybody ever gets the chance to go to Utah, 
highly recommend. Good place to go. That's amazing. I think a lot of people are going to be looking for places to go once kind of stay at home orders are lifted. Yep. <laughs> kind of get through all yep. of this again. No, that's, um, that's amazing. So you said you started about three years ago, but um, can you tell us a story about like how, so obviously you've been taking photos, but how did you decide to start um, like doing it for a business? And then there's a question in the chat of how do you decide what photos to sell? So can you tell us your, like, how did you decide to become, do this for a living or sell oh. your work? Or do so um, I think oh gosh, I don't know. So the way that I decide which ones to use, um, so I go, like I said, I was going to this club and we go, we meet every month and we each take like five or ten photos mm-hmm. and everybody just like rips them apart. <laughs> like or or constructive criticism. So I sometimes I'm surprised by which ones um do well, but that really makes you better. And it also gets a, you a good idea because just because I like something doesn't mean that anybody else will like it. Right. Um, so it helps me get a good idea of, okay, nobody likes this one, even though I loved it. Everybody <laughs> likes this one. And I had no idea why, cause I hate it, but um, you know, <laughs> it's, it's always good to get other people's opinions. So. Of course. It's one thing for it to be your, the thing you create, but then also if it's like, you know, con- uh, commercial, Thing. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. It's a different thing. thing. Right. Yeah. So what made you decide like, oh my gosh, I like, the, I like doing this photography thing. I'm going to see if someone will buy it. Like, what was that experience like? Um, I'm not sure exactly why I thought that was a good idea. <laughs> Clearly, <But. laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I was kind of thinking about it for a couple of years and then I finally decided to, um, what happened? I applied for Seelard Art Gallery um, to be a resident artist there. And I was shocked whenever they uh, accepted me. And then I had to start making a bunch of pieces to put up there. Mm-hmm. Um, and then this art expo came along and I was like, well, okay, I've already got a lot of pieces made, so might as well put them online, see what happens. I love it. That's awesome. Um, so I know we, we always kind of talk about, like, you said you like all the different places to go take mm-hmm. photos, but do you have a favorite place to take photos? Um, Your go-to? Man, you know, I, um, in this, this neck of the woods, I go to Castlewood State Park a lot, um, yes. which is beautiful if you've been there. I really don't think I've captured that perfectly yet. So I just keep going back all the time. Um, and also like to go to downtown St. Louis um, to do architectural shots, which is my other, one of my other favorite things. So. Oh, that's so fun. There's so many fun angles downtown with oh, like yeah. buildings. Absolutely. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. The arts chamber did a mask up. Uh, we masked up all the sculptures downtown and it was so much fun taking pictures of them with all of the amazing buildings and the architecture. I've, there. I've seen those. Those are funny and cool. We, I like it. We had fun. We had a, I mean, it's a little irreverent, but we had fun yep. with it. Um, yeah, we had to find some way to have some have fun. fun. Yeah, absolutely. During all of this. Um, yeah. Okay. Let me look. Um, so what is the hardest part about working with your medium, about being a photographer? Um, man, I, shoot, I don't know. I, I think there's parts of it that are difficult, but I would never say that I was not enjoying it no matter what, even yeah. if it was hard. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of tough because I will always say that a bad day in photography is a good, better than a good day at work any day. So <laughs> there you go. Well, yeah, spoken like a true artist, right? Like I know. <laughs> makes your heart beat. Yeah. Oh. That's awesome. So um, has being a photographer um, changed the way you look at the world? I think so, yeah, because um, I will look at things and automatically be like, oh, that could be a good photo or that wouldn't be a good photo Mm. or that looks like good light. Um, That's not good light, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. All right. Just going down my list, like okay. to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, we are the art cham- arts chamber are obviously here to support artists and small business owners, which a lot of people forget that artists are small business owners. And so we want to make sure we're giving them support and 
you know, resources that you need in order to know how to do the accounting and like all that silliness, um, the additional things other than just taking the photos. Mm -hmm. But what do you wish people knew about the business side of your art? Um, I think that it takes just as much time to do all of that <laughs> as it does to do the actual photography, sometimes more time. So, yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. That's kind of the, the, the stuff we've got. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. Like it's, uh, the, the, the dancers earlier were saying like, you know, I teach 15 hours of classes and it takes 15 hours to prep for all of that. Oh so, man, yeah. I bet. Yeah. Do you do any yeah. prep before you go out for a photography session? Yeah, for sure. It depends on where I'm going um, or if I'm doing it in my house, um, mainly just kind of getting my gear all sorted out, cleaned up, ready to go. Um, and then if I'm going somewhere, sometimes I'll do like scouting just mm -hmm. as I go to a place and check it out and figure out what time of day I need to be there. Um, or if I can't go there, um, we'll check places out online and come up with good locations. Like uh, my friend and I went to Wisconsin. Uh, we were just saying like a couple months ago uh, for fall and we did a lot of online searching of different like photographic locations prior, so. Very cool. Uh, okay, so I got a question here. What is the funniest tip or trick you've learned about taking a good shot? Um, of what? <laughs> of, like people know. or? Yeah, like maybe like, let's say people, because I know when you have to deal with humans or dogs or any of those things, uh, children, they can be complicated. Yeah, um, I don't take a ton of pictures of people. I've just kind of started that really, okay. like within the past two or three weeks. Um, and I would just say, I guess it's not really funny, but get all your stuff together mm. before you get there, plan everything before you get there. Um, if there are toddlers involved, you better be fast. <laughs> you better get it done quick and not mess around. <laughs> okay, so I have a question. You're a veterinarian, right? That's true. Yep, that's true. Okay, so we want to see more photos of animals on your feed. <laughs> Why don't we have more animals? I mean, believe me, I'm a dog mama. Like, <laughs> love, love me some photos mm. of animals. Yeah, I like, I do like taking pictures of wildlife. I like taking pictures of my animals, um, but I do see a lot of animals during the day. And so for that reason, I tend to take pictures of other things. Um, <laughs> not saying that, yeah, it's just a, just a different thing. Um, and I, I do like to take pictures of animals. And in fact, next weekend, I'm doing a photo shoot with a cow and a horse. Um, <laughs> Together, so, they're like in the same paddock? I, I think they're friends. Yeah. It's sort of like a couple's Christmas card slash there's a cow and a horse that they um, are very attached to. So it's all going to be a thing. What a fun job you have. <laughs> and I want to say hi to Carrie, a uh, friend of mine who just waved at me. That's awesome. I love it. Yeah, and there's his daughter, Abby. That's awesome. Yeah, there's any more questions. So we want to know where's the most exotic place that you photographed? Have you been to any other fun mm -hmm. countries? Obviously not in 2020, but yeah, uh, not recently, but I went to Nepal in 2015, and that was before I was really taking this uh, seriously, but I did have my camera, and I carried it for about, we, uh, my husband and I hiked for like 20, 25 miles, not in one day, <laughs> but all together, but I did carry that darn heavy thing the whole way. <laughs> yeah. what, so. is your, what is your equipment? What do you shoot on? Um, right now I'm using a Fuji uh, X-T2, um, which is like a mirrorless, it's a lightweight camera, which is really nice um, considering I'm kind of small um, and I, you know, you know, it's easier to carry around when I do go places. So. Absolutely. The, uh, it's good to have a photo, just an option to photograph, right? And you, mm -hmm. it's yep. with you. So the lighter, the better. That's awesome. Yes. You can't see it because I have my green screen, but we have all of our photo equipment right over oh, here. Oh, cool. What do you guys have? uh cannons of some kind that we have mirrorless and we have the dslrs as well so. cool 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 a lot of good uh, stuff a lot of yeah, people oh, like that new uh, cannon mirrorless i know yeah that. i think i'm being told it's a sony a7 oh okay okay i don't know anything about those to be honest <laughs> who knows i i i'm just getting messages 
<laughs> okay. I'm certainly not the, the photographer in the family, but um, I do love looking at them and I love <laughs> the memories that you come back with them. Yeah, so, I think, I think go ahead. Yeah, I was so, just going to say, that's my favorite part about photography. Like you're looking at a memory, literally every time I look at one of my photographs or uh, one of my friends or one of my, you know, club uh, members, uh, I'm going, oh, that was a cool thing that happened. And I remember it. So that's cool. So kind of the corollary to like, what, where have you been? What's on your bucket list? Yeah. Where do you like want to go to go photograph? Oh, okay. I think I got like three places right now. Um, one is probably Japan um, for a couple of reasons. It's huge and beautiful. Um, a lot of big cities. Mm-hmm. Oh, what was the other one? Oh, Chernobyl. I think that was on there too. <laughs> You're like, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's your bucket list. You get to, I mean, yeah. that's super different uh, kind of bucket. <laughs> yeah. Just different, different things to photograph, right? Like that's the yeah. goal. Yeah, right. Exactly. Just looking around and seeing uh, what's different. And that place is pretty different. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, Mexico City, too. I'd like to go there. That looks really cool. Yeah, we could like list all of these things. And all I'm going to do is just get really disappointed that we can't go there right now. I know. Patience. Okay, somebody soon. Patience. Um, I have one other question. We'll see if we have any others in the chat. But um, you kind of answered it earlier. But what's the most surprising thing about turning your art into a business? Um, hmm. surprised me the most. I don't know. I guess the amount of time it was going to take it, it did surprise me. I was kind of like, well, this is taking me a long time. And it, it, and, uh, I guess going from a photographer for to being a person that sells art is a whole different thing. And it's mm-hmm. a different skill set. Like learning how to sell your art and talk to people is, um, totally different than just going out and doing it. So, yeah. Well, it goes back to that whole being, everything to the business right yeah you're the artist you're the marketer you're the <laughs> account yep. you're the janitor all right yep all of the things the definition of being a small business owner yeah um, i had to learn how to frame and wire put wires on pictures which luckily that wasn't too hard but uh it takes a lot of time so that's amazing i wanted to give some people another moment in the chat see if anything comes through um but yeah, I, Rachel, it has been a joy to chat with you. I am too. loving hearing about all of the bucket list items. Who knew Chernobyl is on the list? Like, <laughs> like you know, go check it out. Um, <laughs> oh, but we are so excited for those that are joining us live or on the replay. Please make sure to go check out Rachel's booth. She has lots of fun photos in there um, <laughs> for you to go check out. And of course, um, I'm presuming you will like take photos of anybody if they need a session, right? You can sign up on your website and Go take um, right? I'm sort of working my way towards okay. that because I feel like again portraits really just started doing that past couple of weeks. Well, um, well and we'll I don't. Sorry, that. go ahead. No, we'll give you some time to, to okay. get that going. So sorry, I didn't okay. mean to like, throw you. Oh in. no, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Like I said, is there anything else that you wanted to get? Make sure to get out into the world before we wrap up. Nope. Just a shout out to my friends, Abby and her dad, Carrie, that showed up. Thanks for coming. Good to I see you guys. It. That's awesome. And yeah. again, thanks to everybody who was here live and who is going to see us on the replay. We appreciate it. Make sure you continue to check out our artists. Um, they will be available. Uh, you can check out amazing photos by Rachel um, at her booth. So thank you all so much. We appreciate your support of our small businesses. And um, we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Thanks.